Hey everyone, welcome to the book party. I'm so excited you're here. I'm Angie Taylor and I'm going to be kind of doing a pre-party with you to show you a lot of my family's favorite books. I have a four and a six year old boy. Um, so a lot of our books are more geared toward the younger ones, but I do have some older ones to show you as well. So let's take a peek while people start filtering in um, and then we will get the party started. So first off is the That Stop My series. This is such a great series for the young ones. Um, young meaning anything from infant, I would say all the way until maybe two and a half, three. Um, but these are super sweet because each page has something that you can feel. Um, and texture wise and also has a little cute mouse to find in every picture and, and he always finds his train or princess. We have so many different titles in this one. So um, if you have a boy or girl, we've got you covered. There's flamingos and donkeys and everything that you can think of. Um, this one is the slide and seat. It's one of my favorites for this um, younger ages because it has a little spot for either your finger or their finger and it's gonna move. Um, the page into a really sweet, sweet, sweet little story. And there's really not a lot of words. It's just little um, noises, but this is really great for the younger ones that more are interested in, you know, the more the visuals. So I love these. I think it's such a great, um, even like a gift or something for a little kid um, would be awesome. This one I love, it's on the farm and we have another one in this series, but this is super great for, um, Tummy time. So we actually have another book that's tummy time, which I don't have, but this one is also great for tummy time. So I really highly recommend those. Okay. We have a bunch of books. These are um, the first question that answers. This is for the younger crowd. Um, and I forget the actual like age recommendations on this one, but this is so great for my four-year-old because he's experiencing all the feels and actually so is my six-year-old, but this one is just kind of giving him, you know, okay, this is what it looks to be frightened and this is what it looks to be feel alone or angry or, and then it gives them something to do, like how do we deal with this um, and why are we feeling these feelings? So really, you know, it's a really, really great one for those kids that are, you know, just dealing with a lot of emotions and aren't we all at this time? Um, we have a lot of these pop-up books are just so sweet. I really, really love these. Um, and so they're just gonna bring the story to life as they pop up on each page. And then and that one kind of got a little, a little broke there, but that's okay. And then we have at the very end, you know, he gets into the pot in the kettle and there it is. So those are really sweet. We have a bunch in that one as well. Um, and this is another one of the very first question and answers is what, what are germs? Um, we also have what is poop? I mean, we just have so many of these. So um, this is really great. I just wanted to highlight this one just because of what we're experiencing with the global pandemic that we're in. So um, a celebration of brothers. We also have a sister's one. I love this one because I don't know about y'all's kiddos, but mine definitely are the best frenemies ever. So it's like one minute they're like hugging and kissing and saying they love each other. Another minute they're like totally saying, you know, I'm not gonna like you ever again and all these things. So this is really like, okay, sometimes brothers make life messy and sometimes they make you upset and sometimes this and that. But, you know, obviously there's silver lining at the end that they're always gonna be there for you and this and that. So I love this book to kind of, bring them together. So again, we have brothers and then we have one for sisters on that one. All right. We also have some great bedtime kind of stories that I do with my kiddos. Hooray, it's garbage day is a great one for those that love garbage trucks. You know, I never did as a kid. I don't know if it's more of a boy thing, but um, I, I just love the illustrations though on this. So bright and colorful, but it's all about garbage trucks. So that's super sweet. Um, okay, this one, y'all, is one of my favorites. And yes, I did say y'all. Um, so Where Happiness Lives. This one's so sweet. It's about a little mouse. And there's little cutouts in this throughout the, the book. There's little um, kind of surprise peekaboo pages, but just super sweet um, story. Kind of the um, moral of the story is, you know, really loving what you have and being thankful. And usually, not always is bigger or more things a better thing. It's more about love and family than having a mansion kind of thing. Um, the Tale of Two Beasts, this is really sweet. It has two different stories in it two, with two different viewpoints of how the story went. So we go into the first part of it, which is this little girl's kind of 
story of how she finds this little rodent and then we go into his story and his viewpoint of it. It's really sweet, really cute. Love that one. All right, this one is still one of my um, kiddos' favorite books and it's super simple, but my six-year-old really loves it. So is my four-year-old. So it's just gonna go through a bunch of you choose, it's called, and so you're gonna choose. Would you travel with wheels or wings or perhaps choose one of these other things? And so we sit down as a whole family and we go through this and we say, all right, mommy's gonna pick the dress and daddy's gonna wear this and Mason's gonna, so it's really cute, it's really sweet and it kinda gets you all talking and we really love that for our family. Um, Nibbles is just one that we've always loved. The kids always pick it out usually um, once a week to read it and so it's this little, Little guy, he gets um, he gets out of his little cage and then he goes into other books and starts chewing them up, literally, and wrecking other books that you know, Goldilocks and Three Bears, um, oh, Little Red Riding Hood, um, Jack and the Beanstalk, and at the end you capture him, but oh no, he gets away. And you can actually buy Little Nibbles as a stuffed animal, and actually the, um, this one, you can also buy the Little Mouse, so that's kind of an added fun bonus. Um, this one we really love too. It's called I Say Ooh, You Say Ah. It's more of like a very interactive. Um, so it's telling you throughout the story what you need to say. Um, it's super creative and funny at the same time. So this little donkey has underwear on his head. So, you know, really super sweet. Love that book. And the last kind of storybook um, one I'm going to show you is the Superhero Baby one. Uh, it's so great. So many people say, oh, my kids love superheroes. And so this is one of mine that I always say, this is super sweet about the little brother. He's kind of the malicious one. And at the end you find out, spoiler alert, that he is the um, little boy that has been making all the messes and the other um, child has been being the superhero and fixing his messes. So super cute and sweet one as well. Okay, let's go on to some of the great kind of more activity books. Um, this one is our animal trivia. I've never gotten one of these. We just got this and my six year old loves it. So it's all of what it looks like. It's trivia. And so it's going to go through all these different, um, you know, topics. And this is all about animals. So we have the rainforest wildlife, which is the most common rainforest animal. And it gives you A, B, C, or D. And in the back, it tells you the answer. And he loves that because he's learning, but he's also guessing and we kind of do it as a family. So that one has been a really great one. We have these stained glass ones, which we haven't done yet because we just got them for Christmas. But this gives you an idea of what you can you can do, but then of course they can do whatever they want to do. And then you just tear it out and then you put it in the in the window and it you know the light shines through, which is really cool. But we have some new ones in this, which is really fun. And I forget, I think it's like mermaids, uh, monsters, and two more. So those are fun. We have these color by numbers. We have two different ones. This is um, for maybe the little bit younger that I got for my four year old. Um, and then we have one that's a little bit more smaller or maybe the older ones, six and seven, I would say, or even honestly, I, I'm interested in doing this. This looks like a lot of fun. Um, we have these rubber stamp activities. These are so great. They have little um, stamps that you stamp in this um, stamp pad, and then you make little animals throughout the book. So this is a great activity for, for the kiddos that love, um, you know, their little arts and crafts. Okay, we have pirates transfers, which are so fun, and it is what it looks like. They're pi pirate transfers, so you just transfer the pirate on there by you know, doing the little, um, I don't know if y'all grew up doing this, but I did, um, writing on it and then transferring them onto the page. So it's so sweet and cute. I love those. Okay. We have these great maze books too, that I just gave my son as we were traveling the other day, um, for a good bit. And so he would just do the mazes and they're so great because they are, they're not easy. They're kind of hard. So for my six year old, that was really fun. All right. We're going to move to the older ones. Cause I know I just spent a lot of time on the younger ones. Um, we just got a bunch of these bear girls, new books that are awesome. And so this is the mountain challenge. Um, but there's a ton of these. And so it's a, it's a non, not, not nonfiction. It's a fiction book, but it's going to have a lot of great, um, ways how to, you know, this and how to that in the, um, whatever area they're in. So this is a mountain challenge. So it's going to, Bear girls, you know, all of his fun, um, ways to get out of, you know, hard places. Um, so it's really fun and it's, you know, it is a chapter book. So there are some illustrations, but there's also a lot of words. So obviously my, my six year old is not reading these that is, um, by himself right now, but I love, we got a bunch of them. I love that we have these, um, as he continues to grow and read. Okay, but this 
series he really is enjoying, and this is the Scurvy Dogs, and, the, and this is the Dinosaur Boneyard, but it's like a um, graphic novel, but it has, um, you know, little text, but a lot of pictures, so it's super fun, and then you have another one in that one as well. Um, for the older ones, we do have the older graphic novels, which are really cool and super, super fun. These are so popular um, for kiddos, and it kind of teach them, like, how to love to read, so I love those. Um, we also have a bunch that are more geared toward learning. So we have this hundred things to know about space. Um, and it's just going to tell you exactly what it is. A hundred things to know about space. And so it just goes through all of the things that you would ever want to know about space. And we have a ton of different subjects in that. We have our understanding, um, series, which we have a new one about climate change. This one's about politics and government. I've heard from a friend that this is just such an awesome book. We haven't dove into it yet. But, um, man, it has so much information, and I think it's so great. Um, and, again, we have a ton of those. So, you know, not just politics. We have um, some in business, and I think money, and other ones, too. This one, if you are at all the come schooling or virtual schooling, I would say this is like a staple that you have to get. So this is um, the Children's Encyclopedia, and it has the QR code on there. But it's going to have just every page is just different. Um, and then, of course, in the back you have fun maps and stuff like that but this is just such a great resource for um for homeschooling or virtual learning and then we have the first encyclopedia i love this book this is more for the younger ones um i am doing this with my kiddos as we are homeschooling um but we'll do like actually this next week i believe we're going to go to the science center and so we're going to start um studying about the space and so this has all fun things about space and then we have body and it just has so many different topics that you can learn on there all right, I think I went through most of the things that I wanted to go through. So, with that being said, I hope that you all um, are on now and we're ready to go. If you have any questions, please private message me on the private chat um, and we will get this party started. Thanks so much.